We don't have that anymore. Here's what we have. Politicians and the press often toss around comparisons to Winston Churchill, but this time, minus the cigar and the whiskey, it fits. President Biden face to face with the man who was who has drawn comparisons to Winston Churchill. And in a dramatic wartime appearance, reminiscent of Winston Churchill in World War II. This was historic. Uh, some people have compared it to when Churchill came. Zelensky is very much acting in the Churchillian tradition. What could be a Churchillian moment? I mean, he is a modern Winston Churchill with an iPhone. Someone who probably is the most courageous and inspirational leader since Winston Churchill. Where Winston Churchill stood generations ago, so too President Zelensky stands. So you're almost saying that Zelensky's had a harder job than Churchill had. That's exactly what I'm saying. This is a historical figure. This guy actually can be compared to Winston Churchill, to Lincoln in 1860. So that kind of solves a mystery from last night. How can any self-respecting American sit there when some foreign dictator shows up wearing his workout clothes in the U.S. Congress and starts demanding, with a very apparent lack of gratitude, that we send him tens of billions of dollars when we're running out of money? How could you sit and put up with that? And then drapes a Ukrainian flag in our Congress. How could you put up with that? Well, because you're not a self-respecting American. You have no self-respect. You have no dignity. You don't care. You'll say anything. You'll tell any lie. You'll repeat any talking point. And when someone from the DNC or the White House sends you a note by text saying, compare him to Churchill, you do. Because you have no self-respect. That's the problem. So while millions of Americans can't afford to go to the doctor and we have no border, our leaders and our media are imagining they're very close to Winston Churchill. All right. So this is clearly some sort of weird psychodrama that our ruling class is engaging in that gives meaning to their otherwise barren lives. The problem is there are potential consequences that could end the world.